about doors, not walls, Nancy might have said, while standing in the longest line waiting for love. Today we are at Vanderbilt Hall in Grand Central Terminal and we are celebrating Poetry in Motion. We are hosting an event called The Poet is In with Music Under New York. We have more than 30 award-winning poets who are writing poems for the public. The event today is co-sponsored by MCA Arts and Design and our partners at Poetry Society of America. We present the Poetry in Motion program on the subway system and this year is the 25th anniversary of Poetry in Motion so we're really excited to be here at Vanderbilt Hall. The poets sit at a table, uh, they have a typewriter in front of them, they have a sheaf of paper, and they talk to members of the public who've been waiting to talk to them, and they write a short poem that's usually really, really meaningful to them, and it's a wonderful way to be able to interact and have a really personal relationship in a very public space. I met a really great young person today whose dream it is to be a baker, and they were telling me about their experience falling in love, having their heart broken, and beginning to love someone else now. And so to see a young person at the beginning of their life, so full of that kind of hope, was really promising and taught me a lot about myself when I thought my job was just there to learn about someone else. It was amazing how he uh, translated our lives to this paper. So it was an amazing experience for us. Ramon and Lupita, two healers of children, two healers united in love. There have been hardships Life has been so cruel at times. We have worked together, always uh, healing one another in love and in our faith. In past years, yes, we had a loss. We think about the loss of our beloved, whose heart the world could not contain. But he will be with you always. They sit in two chairs, and between them is the space where their son grows a garden of mutual respect. Like her mother's garden at home, roses, shrubs, hyacinth, mango trees. What a world it is, all blooming. It's so wonderful to be in the busiest intersection of New York City, to sit down together, look into each other's faces, and talk and listen, and then make something of it. It's a joy. <laughs>